Hey, what is up everyone? Norman from Future Studio University here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to implement product flavor dependent permissions. Now let's assume we have an app which has three product flavors. The free version, which has just the basic functionality, the premium version, which has more than the free version, and the enterprise version, which has the fully fledged functionality. The free version of the app has much less features than the premium or enterprise version. If it has less features, it will also need less permissions. However, if you head over to our Android manifest over here, you will see that the free version only needs two permissions. The premium version needs one more, and only the enterprise version needs all four permissions. So if the free user installs, he will see all the permissions requested, but doesn't see any features related to that permission. Thus, it would be optimal if you could reduce the permissions to the actual features. So for the free version, it should look like this. And for the premium, it should look like this. Only the enterprise version needs all four permissions. So what we're going to do is, we're going to select the Android manifest XML, we're going to copy and paste, and we're leaving the same name, but we're going to change this back here. So let's change this to enterprise for the fully fledged version of the app. And you're going to see that two Android manifests are going to show up here. So the first step is open the enterprise version, which is selected now, and remove all the application stuff. Since you need all permissions, you can just leave it like this. Next step is select the enterprise again, copy and paste again, but now change it to premium. We are now in the premium Android manifest. Since it's the premium version, we don't need the enterprise permission. So we're going to delete that. It's not going to show up here since we are still in the enterprise version. The last step is copy and paste it one more time. Change it to free. And the free version, as you know, only requires two permissions. Save it and go back to the original full Android manifest. Since we are now requesting the permissions in each product layer, we can remove it here. And what's going to happen now, if you select the enterprise version, it's going to take the main Android manifest and additionally merges in the enterprise version, which has all four permissions. If you're selecting the premium version, it's going to select the main Android manifest XML and additionally the premium Android manifest XML, which only has three permissions. And lastly, if you select the free version, it's going to take the main Android manifest and the free version is only has the two permissions. And that's how you implement product flavor dependent permissions. Only ask the user for the permissions you actually need. If you're going to ask for permissions for features he can't even use, he's going to be very confused and possibly give you a bad rating. Feel free to browse the blog post I've linked in the description below, which has all the information you need. If you like this video, we would appreciate if you subscribe to us on YouTube and happy coding.